It's the caught on tape moment that's upended a tighter than tight contest. Mitt Romney at a May fundraiser telling wealthy donors nearly half of voters pay no income taxes and will support President Obama no matter what. The 47% were with him who are dependent on government, who believe that, that they are victims, who believe the government has a responsibility to care for them, who believe that they are entitled to health care, to food, to housing, to you name it. The video was obtained by left-leaning Mother Jones magazine, which isn't saying who shot it. And so my job is not to worry about those people. I'll never convince them that they should take personal responsibility and care for their lives. What I have to do is convince the 5 to 10 percent in the center. Team Obama jumped on the video, calling it shocking and more evidence Romney's hopelessly out of touch with the struggles of average Americans. Romney, though standing by the sentiments, told a hastily scheduled news conference the words were not the best. It's not elegantly stated, let me put it that way. I'm speaking off the cuff in response to a, a question, and I'm sure I could state it more clearly and in a more effective way. The video also included blunt words likely to offend Palestinians. And, and I don't think the Palestinians not want to see peace anyway for political purposes. Uh, committed to the destruction and elimination of Israel. Whatever the case, the words followed a series of Romney gaffes that made him sound insensitive and sent a campaign that was already struggling to find its feet post-convention into all-out damage control mode. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.